Hey guys, I'm going to do a um, quick review on the Cape Cod polishing cloth. I've had this sitting on my desk for about a month. Um, wanted to try it out on a couple watches. Got it off of Amazon. I think it was like nine bucks, nine or seven. Can't really remember. So, got my um, test watch out. I figured I couldn't go wrong if I tried this on a on one of my SKXs. Or actually, I did both. But um, you get two of these little um, moist kind of um, spongy cloths inside. Come wrapped up in this uh, cream. They're really kind of juicy, a little messy. Um, so that said, I was able to, to polish up both of these. I didn't touch the, um, the crystal. I just did the bracelets, the back. The buckles were really bad on mine. Um, I don't know if you can see here, but the buckles were just scraped up. I mean, mostly surface wear. And after spending about 10, 15 minutes on both of these guys, I mean, it got them. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say back to, to new, but I could have spent a little bit longer and probably would have been perfect. So mine had a lot of wear on this, this buckle portion and the back where the um, bracelet would lay, like when I would take the watch off. You can see here, it was scraping up the, the case quite a bit. I mean, I'm pretty happy. This isn't going to take the place of a buffing wheel, but I mean... see here every time I would take one of these off the bracelet would smack back here and I was getting a lot of like surface scratches and a lot of surface scratches right here because I have a tendency to lay the watch on its side with the crown up so there was a tremendous amount of, of surface wear on the edge of this case then it brought some good life back to the the bracelet I mean I'm pretty impressed so with one pad, you can do two watches. I buffed these both out, and I think there's still some, some life left in that, but you can see I could probably work on that buckle a little, bo little bit more in here. There's still a few little surface scratches, but nothing like it was, so I've got a few more places I'll probably mess with. But as it goes for stainless steel and metal, um, if you, you're not going to get a deep scratch out. You're going to have to use a buffing wheel and some compound, but... If you've got just some surface blemishes that you tend to get, I mean, it didn't scratch this up. It made it mirror. Um, I didn't really have any on this side. I didn't really mess with the crown side. I didn't have any scrapes over here. This stuff's a little messy. Um, it's really wet when it comes out. So just be prepared for that. I don't think you should use it on the crystal. I didn't get anywhere near it. I just buffed everything in between. Just hand buffed it. It's been about 15, 20 minutes. But I'm pretty impressed with it. I definitely would recommend it. You get two little pouches in here. You could probably do two, depending on the watch, two or three watches. I went ahead and grabbed the other SKX and worked on it since I had this thing out and didn't want to waste it. So um, it polished up the bracelets nice. Again, this is the Cape Cod. So what's on the package. You get two. I got one more in here. It says reusable. I guess I could put that back in there, but it's, I think this one's toasted. I'm going to chuck it. I've got another package anyway, so... Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So I thought I'd let you guys know. I'd seen these, a lot of people using them. Again, I thought I couldn't go wrong if I fouled up an SKX bracelet. I mean, it's not going to be the end of the world if I got it kind of buffed or whatever. But it shined it up nicely. Even the end links, um, it brought life back to that. Even this clasp here, I kind of went over it a little bit. So it looks a lot better than it did. Um, I kind of give my SKXs a, a rough time, so... I'd recommend it. Just thought I'd give you guys a heads up. The Cape Cod polishing cloth is uh, is a winner in my book.